Greetings, warriors. We we got we got some stuff to talk about. Legendary Azura's weapon refine has uh, come out, and if you guys saw my little joke video earlier, uh, you know how I feel about a specific thing at being added to her kit. Got tax me, specific thing. Got tax me. That haunts me <laughs> everywhere I go. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about her weapon. Originally. This video was going to be totally different. I was planning on just ranting for 20 minutes, being like, How dare you, intelligent systems, do this to But now I'm kind of just sad. I'm sad. Because her weapon refined, obviously. If you guys don't know what it is, it's behind me and I'm just going to read it still. So, um, prayer wheel, you know, grits. Uh, Plus three speed if skill like singer dance is used. Grants bonus to targets attack defense speed res equal to bonus on highest target uh, on the highest one for one turn. You know, if you get plus six to attack, you get plus six to everything. Now the stuff that is added. At the start of turn, grants speed plus six to allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. If we just look at that, I approve. I approve of that so much because that makes effectively everybody around her when she dances like if she has options to dance and like no matter who she dances if she's near them like they're getting that boost and I, I like that it frees up her C slot for something super cool uh, I'm not sure what yet but it frees up her C slot to do something else then we get into something that I am neutral on for the most part is at the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack speed plus 5 and the following status, which we will get to in a second, but attack speed plus 5. <laughs> so many people have a plus 6 automatically to like everything, so I don't know. That, it feels like it doesn't do enough. It feels like it's counterintuitive to um, her push skill that they added in, meaning like if she attacks once, like, and even just gets hit the tiniest bit, she's gonna lose that plus and then she's gonna get more damage out of the push. So the, the two of them kind of seem counterintuitive, especially with her low stats and defense and res, because she she's not taking very good hits. She is going to get hit very hard. And now, the least favorite part of her weapon for me is and the following status to unit during combat if unit has a weapon triangle advantage boosts attack by 20% if unit has weapon triangle disadvantage reduces attack by 20% triangle adept in the year of our lord and savior 2022 seriously triangle adept has been in the game since like the, the beginning Sure, people do run Azura with Triangle Adept. I have seen that, and it is a viable path to go down. What, what, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yes, I'm cursing because I am this frustrated with it. Because, okay, so behind me, you are going to see people's opinions on um, Azura's refund. Some of them are like, this sucks, what the hell? <laughs> um, some of them are like, yeah, this is fine. It's not broken. It, it's enough. And some people, <laughs> one person said, wow, imagine getting mad at Azura for dying at like 103 damage instead of 100 when fighting a green one. And, like, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> but my problem is with this refine is they want to turn Azura into an offensive unit, which, okay. As the weirdo who has built almost all of the Azuras, it just feels wrong to me, personally. Like, if you love her refine, I am so incredibly happy and jealous <laughs> that you are happy. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not at all. And to me, this weapon refine feels like they were focusing more on Aether Raids for her. So they give her attack boon bonuses, but they put in that triangle adept so that she wouldn't just go out and automatically die. Like, I'm sure that they have like mapped it all out and figured out like, oh, if we do X, 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 X and put them all together, she's still going to be good in eighth grade. 
Raids, and as a person who really doesn't play Aether Raids, it just, it, this refine feels like shoving her on Aether Raids defense. And I, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I view Legendary Azura as the starting point for all future Dancer Refines. Because I, here's a secret, I adore, I adore dancers. I, I love that. I want to have all of the dancers. I'm, I'm so close to having all of the dancers in this game. <laughs> and I love what they can do, what they can provide to the team. They can be supportive, they can be offensive, like um, um, a specific, <laughs> uh, you know, Azura. <laughs> like, base Azura. She can be amazing offensively and supportive. And I just, I, I love that potential. With legendary Azura, to me, at least, I've always seen her as, yes, I can build her very offensive. I mean, obviously look at her stats and look at her kit right now that I have on her. <laughs> but the main goal of her is to be supportive. Ray Waves gives extra movement to, to movement types. And uh, her prayer wheel gives her buff, like gives her allies buffs. She very much is about bluffing the people around her and not die, like, you know, not really hitting hard. <laughs> Ideally, in my perfect world, what I would have wanted for at least her weapon, I, I, I love the speed plus six. It's perfect, it's perfect. I think bonus doubler would have been a lot more fun than giving her self some stat boosts and giving her triangle adept. Because bonus doubler would have made her weapon insane. She, people would have wanted to prioritize killing Azura if they see her, and that's the point. <laughs> You're supposed to go after dancer units when you see them because they're they're gonna make the other team, like other people on your team, scary. And like with this, it's just I'm okay if it's not broken. I get it. Not every weapon refine has to be brave Hector level. I get that she was already a good unit. Like, compared to some of the other legendary heroes that got remixed, she definitely stands on the top of them. So I get that they didn't want to go hard on her uh, remix, and I, I totally understand that. But the precedent it sets for future dancer refines scares me. I, 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 I personally don't think I'm going to be refining for real, which is something shocking for me to say because I, I want to build Legendary Azura the best I can. I don't think I'm going to refine it because it's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's not how I want to use Azura. But back to the idea of the precedent on um, Dancer Refines. It scares me because I feel like they want to make dancers offensive. And I get that. I do too. I love making my dancer units hit like a truck because it's hilarious. You never expect it and then the boom, you're dead. But the most important thing to a dancer is that they dance. They give an extra turn. They preferably buff you <laughs> because like it makes sense in my mind. I just future dancer refines are going to be like this, I'm going to be sad. Because Triangle Adept was in the beginning of the game. Zura's a legendary unit. Like, Makoto! Makoto has a great refine! She freaking cancels Kanto! Like, that's amazing! And she's in a normal pool unit. This is a legendary unit who has Triangle Adept. As you guys can tell, I am frustrated. I am sad. I wanted so much more out of her refine. In my perfect world, what I would have liked, instead of attack speed push, I think giving her a trace would have been perfect. Because a dancer with a trace skill? Terrifying. Terrifying. She goes in, she dances, and then she runs away. And I think that's perfect. Gray waves? No panic. I have mixed feelings on it. I think it's okay. It's nothing amazing. But the fact that it's still restricted to two movement types when we have Legendary Sigurd in the game, it just feels, you know, a little, eh. I can live with Great Waves too. Fine. If that's what they wanted to do, good. Prayer Wheel. The plus six speed, good. Just change everything else to Bonus Doubler. 
and then I would have been satisfied. It wouldn't have been broken. It wouldn't have been like overloaded. I think it would have been a perfect balance of taking Azura, refining her a little bit more on the sandpaper and then sh her shining like the true jewel she's supposed to be. I was just putting so much into this. I. I get that some p people are like not as emotionally invested in this as I am, and that's totally cool. Like, good for you. <laughs> good for you not getting super worked up over it, but I, I just, I'm disappointed. I am pretty disappointed. She's still a great unit, obviously, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do with her right now. I just don't know. I plan on building her. I plan on still doing the plus 10 stream because I, I want to get her to plus 10 and I want to give her the things that she she deserves. I, like, I'm giving her a trace. I'm giving her a trace. I'm giving her as much as I can because I have a lot of fodder saved up for her. But as you can tell, I'm not happy. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about um, Azura's refine? This was not the video I wanted to record today. Today, I wanted to just record like a little snippet of what I thought about the, day, uh, the Easter units because I was out of town. Uh, when they came out, but no, but here I am being heartbroken about Legendary Zara. I hope that my opinion on it changes in the future, but as of right now, I'm not putting a tax speed push on her. I'm not refining her weapon. I put Grave Waves 2 on her, but other than that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So with that all said, uh, let me know what you think down below. Um... Do you feel like this is a disappointing remix? Do you like this remix? You know, let me know. And uh, keep fighting your battles. And I will see you guys next time. Doodly!